Almighty God, with bowed heads and humble hearts, Almighty God. Almighty God, thanking you, watch Father God, for watching over us and seeing us, Almighty God, out yet another year, Lord God, and into another one. Almighty God, you've been better to us, Lord God, than we've been to ourselves. And Almighty God, you've been better to us, Almighty God, than our earthly fathers, Lord God. You've been better, Lord God, than a paternal father. Lord God, you've been better to us, Lord God, than a surrogate father, almighty God. You've been better to us, Lord God, than a, a father, a heavenly father, that was given the title, Lord, Lord God, by law, an adoption father. Almighty God, you've got them all, Lord God, you've been good. Almighty God, you've kept us, Lord God. You, you kept a roof over our heads, Lord God. You kept us safe, Lord. Almighty God, you fed us. You watched over our family members, Lord God. You, you watched, well, washed away the tears from our eyes, Almighty God, when we were sad. And you sustained us, Lord God, when we became weak. And Heavenly Father, you picked us up during this year that passed, Lord God, when we've fallen down. And Almighty God, you kept us and you carried us, Lord God, when we didn't have the strength to carry ourselves. Almighty God, we found, Lord God, in the year past that, Almighty God, your grace is sufficient. Almighty God, you have been a good God to us. Almighty, we, we, if we had a thousand tongues, Almighty God, it wouldn't be enough to tell you how much that we praise you and we appreciate that what you've done for us. Almighty God, continue with us as we continue to labor on this side. Seeking to do your will, almighty God, and to, to, to make heaven our home when this old life is all over, Lord God. Almighty God, continue to feed us, nourish, and guide us, Lord God, with your word. Almighty God, bring down manna from heaven, Lord God, that will sustain our lives, Lord God, in the, in the spirit. So that we may be able to do the will that you place before us. Almighty God, we need your strength. We can't continue this journey without you. Almighty God, we need you. Almighty God, meet us where we are at this time, Almighty you. Lord God, some may be coming from the right and need to go to the left. Some may be at the, at the east and need to go to the west. Almighty God, help us. Lord God, you know where we are, Lord God, and most importantly, you know where you would have us to be. So have your way, Almighty God. Have your way. Have your way in this service, Lord God. Continue, Lord God, to thoroughly furnish, Lord God, in the year to come for the battle that's ahead of us. Almighty God, give us a discerning spirit, Lord God, that we may move, Lord God, when, when we need to. Lord God, and stay our hands, Almighty God, when we need to, to remain quiet. Help us, Almighty God, to just not lose time and to, to just be where we need to be for you. Almighty God, we're willing vessels. We've yielded, Lord God, to you, Lord God, in times past, and we are trusting you to continue to lead and guide us in the way of all righteousness so that your will will be done in our lives. Almighty God, keep us. And not, on, not only us, Lord God, but those that are of the household of faith, that call on you, Lord, with the true and sincere heart. Continue with us, Lord God. Guide and keep us, Almighty God. And Almighty, we pray that you would bless those that are en route to this service on this evening, Lord God. Bless them, Lord God, with a, 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 a safe journey here, Almighty, so we continue to, uh, can continue to give you uh, the honor and the praise as a unit. Almighty God, keep us. Guide and protect us. And we pray that the words of our mouths and that the meditations of our hearts will be pleasing and acceptable in your sight. Now go with us, almighty God, and guide us and keep us. Thank you for all, Lord. Almighty God, you said that if the believers will continue to just look to the hills from whence coming their help, Lord God, that you would meet them there. And Father, you've not fallen short on that promise. And Father, we thank you for that. Father, we continue, Lord God, on this way, continue with us. God, keep and protect us. Almighty God, keep us. 
Forgive us of our sins, Lord God. For God, the of the sins of the flesh, you said that we were made of this, this, this dust of the ground, Lord God. And we were just made and conceived in sin, Almighty God. But you saved us by the Spirit. And Lord God, just strengthen us. Help us, Lord God, to walk this walk in a way that's pleasing in your sight. Help us, Almighty God. Continue with us. And we will continue to give you all the honor and all the praise. It is in your blessed sons we ask all these things. Amen. I've been saved all day and I'm glad. I've been saved all day and I'm glad. And I'm glad, yes I'm glad. I've been saved all day and I'm glad. Come on. I've been saved all day and I'm glad. That's an old one right there. I've been saved all day and I'm glad and I'm glad yes I'm glad I've been saved all day and I'm glad I've been saved all day and I'm glad I've been saved all day and I'm glad I've been saved all day, and I'm glad. Amen, amen, amen. Come on, clap your hands and give God some praise. Come on and praise him. Come on, help me praise him, if you will. Help me praise him. Amen. The old is out and the new is in. Amen, amen, amen. If you wasn't praising him, amen, in 2023, amen, change your mind in 2024. Amen, amen. Make up your mind you're going to praise him in 2024. Amen. So we thank the Lord, amen, for this, this New Year Eve, this New Year Eve, amen. And, and surely I had nothing planned better than to bring 2024 in in church. Amen. I've, I've got some other invitations, but there's no better place than I would rather be than to be in the house of the Lord. Amen. Amen. So if y'all will, just come on, clap your hands again. Amen. Clap your hands again for me. I need me some of this water. Amen. I need some water. Y'all Y'all help me out. Amen. But God has been good to, amen. He's certainly been good to Anthony. Has he been good to you? Has he been good to you? I feel like I played football today. I feel a little porched. Amen. Amen. I'm going to read uh, Psalms, Psalms 150. Psalms 150th volume of the psalm. And then we'll just go right on into this message. And we'll pray began praying at 11.55. Yeah. Amen. Psalms, book of Psalms, Psalms 150. And it reads, praise ye the Lord. Praise God in his sanctuary. Praise him in the firmament of his power. Praise him for his mighty acts. Praise him according to his excellent greatness. Praise him with the sound of the trumpet. Praise him with the psaltery and harp. Praise him with the timbrel and dance. Praise him with the string instruments and organs. Praise him upon the loud sounding cymbals. Praise him upon the high sounding cymbals. Let everything that hath breath, let everything that hath breath, let everything that hath breath, praise the Lord, praise ye the Lord. Amen. Somebody clap your hand and tell the Lord thank you if you will. Amen. 
Amen. Hallelujah. I love to praise him. I love to praise the Lord. I love to praise him. I love to praise the Lord. I love to praise him. I love to praise the Lord. I love to praise his holy name. Anybody love to praise him? I love to praise him. I love to praise the Lord. I love to praise him. I love to praise his name. I love to praise him. I love to praise his name. I love to praise his holy name. Amen. He's my rock, my rock, my rock, my sword and shield. Oh, he's a will, the will, the will in the middle of the will. Amen. Praise God. I, that's an old one. Another old one, y'all. I'm pulling them out. <laughs> Amen. It don't seem like I got I got too many people who know them songs but me. Amen. But amen. But we pray, we thank God. Amen. Surely I, I thank God. Y'all, y'all just have to have to put up with me because I'm I'm not usually running behind. Y'all saw I had my clock set for 9 a.m. tomorrow. <laughs> Instead of 9 p.m. Amen. I should have told told my grandson amen, to get me up at 9 o'clock because he 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 was watching football with me all day. Amen. We probably saw every game, amen, in the NFL today. Amen. He was trying to play his game, and I was trying to watch the games. <laughs> he tried to get me off the TV. I wasn't getting off the TV. I was <laughs> hey, I didn't hog the TV. I hogged the TV, y'all. I watched every game that came on. I was flipping back and forth watching games. Amen. Then went in the room and took over my wife TV. I uh, just, I just, amen. I, I was enjoying, amen. I love playoffs. Amen. That's they seem to play better during the playoffs because they know this. Hey, you either play or go home. Amen. You'll be watching somebody else next Sunday. Amen. Instead of them watching you. But those of you who have your Bibles, I, I'm not going to be long. I promise you, I'm not going to be long. I'm not going to be long at all because I want to. I want to. I'm ready to pray. I'm ready to. I'm ready. I'm ready for 2024. Anybody ready for 2024? Amen. I don't know, but I don't know. But I'm excited. I really am. I'm excited about 2024. I really am. I'm excited about it because the Lord has um, has given me some words about 2024. Uh, 2024 is going to be a good year, not for everybody, but it's going to be a good year for the believer. Uh, 2024 is going to be a good year for those who fear the Lord, those who fear the Lord. Amen. And I mean, uh, see, that word fear is not to be scared of him. That word fear is to honor him, those who revere God, those who really have a reverence for him and Proverbs 1 and 9 says the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge but fools despise wisdom and instructions amen a fool don't want to don't want to listen to God's word but a wise man will heed instructions amen Amen. so so thank God I'm I I really am uh, elated about going into 2024 but those of you who have your Bibles, if you will, turn to Luke, Luke chapter number 2 and verse 52. Luke 2, 52. And it reads, and Jesus increased in wisdom. And Jesus increased in wisdom and stature. And in favor with God and man. How many, how many want to grow in statue? Amen. Want to grow in statue. Amen. And, 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 I, and I really believe he wasn't talking about in height either. 
Amen. It was talking about in status quo. Amen. You want your, your income bracket to change. Anybody want your income bracket to change in 24? Amen. Anybody? I'm going to pull up. I wish I could hold up both of my hands, but I got the mic in one of them. <laughs> hold up. Oh, I hold up my hand and my feet. Amen. I want to see some more zeros. Somebody, anybody want to see some more zeros behind your income? Amen. And I want you to know something that God can do it. There's nothing too hard for God. God will do anything you put your faith toward and anything he can trust you with. Uh, let me say that again. God will do anything you could put your faith on and he can do anything that he can trust you with. That's, that's the important part. Can God trust you with another income bracket? Can God trust you with more zeros around your name or would you be somewhere on a yacht shaking up amen champagne uh, <laughs> amen would you be somewhere amen other than serving God could you serve God with more money anybody could you serve God with more money or would you rather be uh, some with, with a bunch of uh, other folks uh, screaming and hollering with, with streamers falling from the sky uh, saying uh, Happy New Year! Uh, watching, watching the the ball drop or the the peach fall, Amen. But but rather than being in the house of the Lord, and that's there's no better place to be than to be in the house of the Lord. And and I, I think you all applaud yourself that you're in church at eleven nineteen p.m. Amen. You in church? You could be you could be anywhere besides church. Amen. You could be you could be somewhere. You could be somewhere because I know there's some partying going on in, in Jacksonville and you've probably been invited to some, but you chose to come to the house of the Lord. And, I'm, and that's honorable to God. That is honorable to God and God won't forget that. Look at that neighbor. Say, neighbor, God ain't going to forget this. God is not going to forget this. He's not going to forget the fact that you chose to come to church. And that's why we're reading what we're reading here in Luke chapter 2. Because Jesus would rather be hanging back, ministering the gospel to the lawyers and, and the doctors and, and, and the people. He would rather at, at 12 or 13, I'm going to say 12 or 13 because uh, this uh, Jewish custom, they have their bar mitzvah at 12 or 13 years old. And Jesus was 12 according to the scripture. And Jesus had lagged back. All the family members was uh, caravanning, going back home, and Jesus lagged back uh, in, uh, away from the pack. He went, he hung back there uh, uh, after the Bar Mitzvah service, and he hung back ministering the gospel. Somebody said ministering the gospel. Amen. He was ministering to people. He would rather be ministering to the people than to be hanging out with the family members. Uh, amen. Like many of us here tonight, we would rather be here uh, hearing the word of God than to be hanging out, amen, with the family members. And then here is Jesus' reward. Jesus' reward, the scripture says, and Jesus increased. Somebody say increased. And that's one of the things that God is uh, going to be doing in the year 2024. There is going to be exponential increase. In the lives of the believers, that's it's going to be very, very, very important to be seeking God's will in 2024. It's going to be important that you have a reverence for God in 2024 and you hold true to his word. Uh, if there ever been a time where it is written that man shall live, uh, not live by bread alone, but by every word of God. 2024, I promise you, will be that year because we are getting closer and closer to the coming of the Lord. And, and when that time draw near, things don't get better around us. They get worse. And because they get worse, it, it, it do us well to be in the ark of safety. Amen. I remember uh, when the children of Israel, uh, when they was in the land of Goshen in Egypt, they was in Egypt, they were in bondage because they increased. That Because the children of God 
was increasing. They, instead of their population dropping, the, the population was growing. Amen. It, it, they were multiplying during the time of affliction, during the time of turmoil. Uh, Pharaoh, who didn't know uh, Joseph, that Pharaoh said, uh, they, they, these people growing too much. They increase too much. If, if we don't get rid of them, if we don't decrease their number, they are going to side with the enemy. If the enemy uh, decide to go at war with us, they're going to side with the enemy. So we need to start killing them off. We need to start getting rid of them. And God heard their cry. God heard the cry of Israel, and he sent Moses to tell Pharaoh to let my people go. And they were in the land of Goshen, and one of the last things that God said God said, I am going to send a death angel. And that death angel is going to kill off the Egyptians who wanted to kill off my people. And he said that, but, but I want my people to put the blood over the doorposts. And everyone who have the blood over the doorposts, the death angel is going to pass by because his purpose is to destroy every male child Every firstborn in the Egyptian family, because see, God flipped the strip. Say, somebody said, God flipped the strip, and because that's what the enemy was doing to God's people. God said, "Okay, I, I, I know what I'm going to do." Because if Pharaoh will not let my people go, so what I'm going to do? I'm going to kill all the firstborn. But boy, when God killed Pharaoh firstborn, he was ready to do anything God wanted him to do. He was ready to let the people go. His heart was hardened, and he was ready to let the people go. But God said, the door posts have the blood over it, and the death angel passes over. Amen. So, so I want y'all to know that those of us that are not saved, it'll do you well to give your life to the Lord because death passes over the believers. Those of us who are blood washed. Death past death is 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 not after us. Amen. Death has is can't touch us because Jesus took the stain from death, and he said that because of, of us believing in him, we would never die. Somebody said never die. Amen. You would never die. And, I, and I'm so glad to know that I never die. Amen. I'm not I'm not I don't have to look forward to dying. So here in Luke, he said that Jesus increased in, in, uh, in, in stature. He increased in wisdom and stature. He increased in wisdom and stature and in favor with God and man. Anybody need some more favor? Some, need some more favor with God? Amen. And, and see, that's one thing I, I, I love about the scripture. The word of God is true. There's no lie in God's word. God cannot lie. He's not a man that he would lie. God won't lie to you. If God says something, he's going to back it up. He's going to do it. So he's telling us that we can increase in wisdom. We can increase in statue and in favor with God and man. Praise God. So, so in 2024, in 2024, that is going to be a time and that's going to be a year the Lord is saying, uh, told me to say to you and say to the body of Christ that that's going to be a year that we're going to grow in stature. We're going to increase in wisdom and we are going to increase with favor with God and man. Amen. And you all, you all put that, write that down somewhere uh, where you can look at it every day, every day. Say, boy, I'm, I'm increasing in stature and I'm growing in favor with God and man growing in favor with God and man. So, in, in other words, if you happen to run into uh, a need, then you can say, God, I need a favor. <laughs> God, I need a favor. Praise God, I need a favor. And not only uh, that, you can go to man and ask man for a favor because God says in his word that I'm going to give you, I'm going to let you increase in favor with me and with man. Amen. So not only is my, my favor going to increase with God, but my favor going to increase with man. Amen. Somebody say, I need some favor. Amen. So in 2024, the year of 
exponential favor with God and man. Amen. That's what the Lord told me to share uh, with the body of Christ. Amen. That we are going to increase in favor with God and man. We're going to grow in status quo. Our statue is going to change. Amen. So, so I'm so looking forward to that. And then he gave me uh, the life of Joseph. The life of Joseph. How many know that, that Joseph had favor with his daddy? His daddy loved him. His daddy loved Joseph. Jacob loved Joseph so much that he made, a, made him a, a colorful coat uh, because he was his favorite child. Boy, boy, parents can really call some sibling rivalry, can't they? They don't be careful how they treat one over the other one. Boy, they can show starts up in the household. And that's what happened with Joseph. Joseph. Uh, his daddy loved him so much and, and favored him over his other 11 brothers. He had, he had 11 other brothers. And, he, and, and matter of fact, Jacob loved, loved Joseph and Benjamin, the baby boy. But he really, really loved that Joseph boy. He really loved Joseph and got Joseph in trouble uh, with that. Also, but what got Joseph in trouble was Joseph had a dream. And he wouldn't keep that dream to himself. He shared that dream uh, with his father and his mother and his brothers and his brothers envied him. They envied him because he had favor with God. He had favor with God and with his daddy. He had that colorful coat on. His daddy told him, said, go check on your brothers and see how they're doing. And, and Joseph went to, to check on them and they looked and saw him from a distance. They said, here come, here come that old here come that old Joseph. Here come that old, old dreamer. And so oh, he ain't nothing, just a, just a dreamer. It's amazing how people will label you. When they're jealous of you, they put labels on you. And they, thought, and they thought that was a bad thing. They thought that was a bad thing because they called him a dreamer. Look at old, old ugly Mincy coming down the street. I don't know what he's coming down here for. We don't want to have nothing to do. People will murmur under their breath about you. They, they'll say stuff under their breath that they won't necessarily say to you because they didn't say that when Joseph came but, but what, one thing they did do they plotted to kill him they said what we gonna do come on y'all let's get him in and throw his dream himself in, a, in this pit right here and let, so the wild animals can come by and kill him that's what we'll do we'll just get rid of him let's get rid of this dreamer people get, when people don't like you they want to get rid of you they want to destroy you. They want to, they want to kill you. That's why a lot of murdering is going on right now because young people are jealous of young people. They're jealous of one another. And then, and you know, just to take somebody's life, just to, just to they, just wipe them off uh, the face of the earth, boy, that's, that's, really a evil, that's really an evil spirit. And that's what the, these boys had. They had an evil spirit to get rid of their brother. And they took him and threw him in the pit, took his coat, and they decided they're going to take the coat and they're going to take it to his daddy and say some wild animal done got him and ate him up. But, but God had a plan. Somebody said, but God had a plan. God had a plan. And God got a plan for you. And God got a plan for me. Amen. You ought to tell yourself, God got a plan for me. God got a plan for me. And, and I, want you to, I want you to take a look at what God's plan is for you because it's important that we get this tonight. Somebody say, God got a plan for me. And I want you to look at uh, Jeremiah 29 and verse 11. Somebody grab that for me real quick. We're going to be moving pretty fast because I'm not going to be able to go over all these scriptures. I'm going to read them out to you, but I want you to, I want you to write them down or, or, or go back and restudy them because it's important that we follow this man's life tonight because God is, is telling us there's a message in here, not a hidden message, but there's an open message that God is, is talking to us tonight because he wants us to really get this in 2024. Because there's some things that's going to come against your favor. There's some, there's some things going to come and test your favor. Some things that are going to come and make you feel like you don't have You ain't got no favor with God. God, You can't be God's favorite. You can't, you can't have favor with God and man. Because you could only imagine now Joseph is feeling real good. You know, he got his colorful coat on. And he going to do what his daddy told him to do. And, and his brother's throwing him in a pit. He wasn't looking for that. He wasn't expecting to go uh, to, uh, to see how his brother's doing to be found thrown in the pit. He was not looking for that to happen to his life at all. 
but but it came. But I want you to I want you to get this. Jeremiah 29 and 11. I can quote it. I can show quote it. if somebody got it. You can read it for me. It says. Uh, thank you, sir. It says, for I know the thoughts. This is God talking. For I know the thoughts that I think toward you, saith the Lord. Thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you an expected end. Hallelujah. Somebody say, I got an expected end. I got a future to look forward to. When God is for you, can't nobody be against you. It, and, and it didn't look good for Joseph. It really didn't look good for Joseph. But, but his brothers cast him in that pit. And here comes uh, some, uh, an Egyptian, some Egyptians uh, coming by, and they, they just going on to Egypt. And, the, and then they say, oh, I know, let's sell him. Let's sell him off to them. And it sold him off. Joseph, amen, he's in chains, all shackled up, uh, going down to Egypt. And he gets to Egypt according to Gen Genesis 39, and uh, one through six, God gave Joseph uncommon favor. Somebody say uncommon favor. Like God gave uh, Joseph uncommon favor, and he was bought as a slave, and he had favor with his master. Joseph was a slave and found favor, according to Genesis chapter 39, verse one through six, and he found favor with the, his Egyptian master, glory to God, he 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 was well favored in there in that house, and the man gave Joseph uh, gave him authorization over everything in his house. Somebody say everything in his house. He gave him gave him authority over everything in his house, and he, he Joseph knew everything about this man than the man knew about himself. That's, that's favor. Somebody, that's favor. When somebody entrusts you with their livelihood, when they entrust you with everything uh, that pertains to them, that's just like somebody's uh, telling you that I'm going to make you my power of attorney. That's really favor. That's really some trust. And that's what it, it, uh, it is likened unto that Joseph was given uh, in this man's house, this, this, this slave, somebody say slave master. He was a slave master, and Joseph was giving uh, 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 some uh, a high position in this man's house, and 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 the scripture says that it was uncommon faith, favor. Somebody say uncommon favor, uh, and that's the kind of favor that God is going to be giving uh, to us in 2024. Uncommon favor, Amen, Amen. You, you're not going to be expecting. Uh, the kind of favor that God is going to be giving you. And, it, and in Genesis uh, chapter 39, and I just want to read, just read a little bit of that, uh, 39, 1 through 6. Uh, uh, Genesis 39, amen, uh, verses 1 uh, through 6. It just to kind of, just to kind of give you, give you an idea so we can flow right on into, amen, this new year. Now, then let's listen to this, uh, this favor that this boy has been given. Now, remember now, his brothers left him to die. They thought they done, they're going to get rid of him, and then they done sold him off uh, to, to some Egyptians. And verse number one says, And Joseph was brought down to Egypt, and Potiphar, an officer of Pharaoh, captain of the guard, an Egyptian, bought him of the hands of the Ishmaelites, which had brought him down there. Somebody said, brought him down. See, it looked like he's going down instead of up. And the Lord was with Joseph, and he was a prosperous man, and was in the house of his master, the Egyptian, and his master saw that the Lord was with him. Somebody said, God was with him. And that the Lord made all that he did to prosper in his hand. And Joseph found grace, found favor in his sight and served him. He found favor in the man's sight and God. And he made him overseer over his house and all that he had, he put into his hand. And it came to pass from that time that he had made him overseer in his house 
and over all that he had that the Lord blessed the Egyptian's house for Joseph's sake. And the blessing of the Lord was upon all that he had in the house and in the field. And he left all that he had in Joseph's hand and he knew not aught he had. He didn't even know what he had himself. Save the bread which he did eat. And Joseph was a goodly person and well favored. Amen. So well favored. So, so God is going to give us uncommon faith, favor. Amen. It wasn't common uh, that, that a man would take a slave and make him head over all of his stuff. Amen. But God's hand was on Joseph as God's hand is going to be on you as his hand is on you. And it's going to increase on your life in 2024. Tell somebody, say, I'm looking for greater things in 2024. Amen. So Joseph's uh, name means added. His name, Joseph's name, his name means added. Glory to God. Wouldn't you, wouldn't you love to have a name? Uh, and I, that's why it's important to know what your name means. So when somebody calls your name, you think about, oh, yeah, that's me. That's me. That's me they're talking about. Priceless. Uh, that's what they're talking about. Yeah. Uncompromising. That's what they talk. When they call my name, I, I, I know what that means. I know what my name means. So when you know what your name means, when they call your name, you say, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's me right there. Joseph. They call Joseph's name and Joseph, they say, add it. Amen. Instead of stuff being taken away from him, stuff is being added to him because of his name being added. Somebody say added. Amen. So, so, so Joseph was having things added to him. And here's another one you might want to write down. Somebody say unpredictable favor. God also gave Joseph unpredictable favor. You couldn't predict the favor that God was giving to him because he was while he was uh in Pharaoh's, I mean, I'm talking about Potiphar's house. I want to just complete that so we can lead into where we're going now. Uh, he was in Potiphar's house, and 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 and, and you know, we well, see the, the enemy is jealous of you. The enemy get jealous of you when you start getting, you know, getting ahead. You start increasing, things start being added to your life, and you start getting favor uh, with the boss. And getting fa uh, favor with with the owners of the of the uh, corporation, uh, people start getting jealous of you uh, when that happens. So they was getting jealous. Somebody said jealous. Uh, they was getting jealous over him. Amen. Uh, amen. God bless you. God bless you. Uh, they was they was jealous over him. And 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 Potiphar had went on a trip. Potiphar went on a trip, and on the while he was on the trip. I guess his wife was getting a little lonely uh, while Potiphar was gone, and, and she started looking at Joseph. She said, I guess Potiphar gone, honey gone. So I'm going to pull on this little boy. Maybe, maybe, maybe I, 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 I could get him to come in and lay, on, lay this beside me. I could get him to, to sleep with him. I could get him to come in and lay with me. And she couldn't, and she tried. She tried Joseph on a daily basis. She was trying to get Joseph. To, to come into that, her bed chamber. And Joseph said, now listen, lady. Now your husband gave me charge. I know I got favor. But your husband gave me favor over everything. He gave me charge over everything in the house. But one thing he didn't do, he didn't give me you. He did not give me you. And, and Joseph said these words. Should I sin against God? I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to mess up my favor. Tell her neighbor, I ain't messing up my favor All right, for you or nobody else. I'm not messing up my favor. And she was trying to press on Joseph. And then there was a day that all the men was gone. With well, nobody but just her and Joseph. And she ran and she grabbed hold of Joseph. She said, "You, oh yes, you're gonna get this today. You're gonna get this today." Joseph, no, no, no. And he and she ripped his robe off, and Joseph fled from her and left the robe in her care. And and when the men came back, she started telling them, "He tried to he tried to rape me. He he was trying to get in my bedchamber." And then they was encouraging her, "Well, tell Potiphar when he get home, because you know he ain't gonna like that." Now, how many know a man would lose his mind? When he found out some, somebody was trying to take his property, take over his wife, 
And, and Potiphar was mad. She then told Potiphar that Joseph tried to, to take her, somebody said, uncommon favor. Now, he's already been given uncommon favor by the man. And then he got mad with Joseph. And because Potiphar was the prison guard, he was the warden over the prison, he took Joseph and put him in chains. Somebody said, put him in chains. And put him in prison. And while Joseph was in prison, somebody say unpredictable favor. Uh, while Joseph was in, faith, in uh, prison, according to Genesis uh, 39, 21 through 23, he interprets two individuals' dreams. He interprets the dream of the butler and the baker. And he increased, uh, while he interprets those dreams, he told the, the butler, he said that you're going to be uh, promoted. Uh, you're going to be uh, put back in your rightful position because what happened was, let me get you all this the whole story. Uh, the reason why they was cast out of Pharaoh is how Pharaoh was mad. Pharaoh had done got mad at the butler and the baker. How many know that God has set you up? <laughs> God has set you up for a blessing. Y'all better get ready. Uh, 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 Brenda, let me just go ahead and just, just let you know in 2024, God is going to be giving uh, you exponential favor. Amen. With with God and man, increase. You're gonna you're gonna uh, see uh, some increase in favor with God and man, and 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 you're gonna see uh, one of the things that we're talking about now about Joseph that God's gonna give him uh, uncommon favor. And God says to, for me to tell the church that you're gonna be experiencing in 2024 uncommon favor, and that's what leading us to where we are now. Unpredictable. Favor, glory to God. You're not going to be able to predict the favor that God's going to do uh, in your life. You're just going to happen to be in a in a in a place helping somebody. Good God Almighty! You're going to be somewhere helping somebody, and because you help them, they're going to remember you. So here is the butler. Uh, uh, Pharaoh is mad at the butler and the baker, and he put them in prison. Now, it's something about being in prison when you're in the kingdom because they put you in bonds. They, they put you in chains, and they were chained up with Joseph now. Remember now, they're in the same predicament Joseph is in. They're all in prison together. And, 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 and God gave him unpredictable favor, and here how it's going to come. He interprets the dream of the butler and the baker he tells the butler that you're going to be you're going to be uh, re-promoted back to your place with uh, with with uh, Pharaoh. You're going to be serving him wine because you know he the butler is the wine taster. He carries the wine for for Pharaoh, and and if if, if somebody put poison in the wine, guess who's going to drink it first? <laughs> Amen. The butler. Uh, so so he's being promoted back to his rightful place, and he told the baker. He said, now for you, uh, your, your head going to be chopped off and the birds are going to eat you up. Now, you know, uh, with those dreams, they ain't trying to remember Joseph when they get back to Pharaoh's house. The, the baker ain't trying to remember Joseph. But the Bible says two years passed by. The butler did not remember Joseph. He didn't keep his word because Joseph did. They did keep a pact with Joseph. They did say that when they, they he, he asked them, say, remember me. Remember me when y'all get out. You know, I, I remember when I was uh, in prison. That's one of the things that guys, the guys won't, you know, they have friends. They would tell them to remember me. You know, remember uh, the sense of money on my books. You know, remember the, the, that I'm still left behind. I ain't, I don't, I'm not free like you, so re give me some favor. Look out for your boy. So that's what Joseph was saying. Joseph was telling them to look out for him. But somebody said, unpredictable favor. And, and, and then the butler remembers Joseph two years later. Somebody said two years. And I, and I can only imagine Joseph uh, being locked up in the first six months. And he's saying, they, ain't rem they didn't forgot all about me. Uh, Help them out, told them about their dream, and they done kicked me to the curb. Hey, remember that? And two years done passed by, still in room. But Pharaoh have a dream. <laughs> God Almighty. But God know how to get you out of situations, don't it? So Pharaoh have a dream, 
And, and Pharaoh gets all the magicians, get everybody together to interpret the dream. Nobody could predict uh, the dream, could, could not interpret the dream. And then the butler remembered Joseph. He said, hey, hey, I remember this guy when I was locked up. You remember when you put me in prison? <laughs> You know, people will remind you when, you when you did them dirt, did dirt to them. He said, now you remember when you cast me in prison. You know, I, there's somebody who know how to interpret your dream. And, and Pharaoh said, go get him. Go get that one. Uh, he going he gonna to give me, he going to tell me my dream because God is in Pharaoh's dream. Glory to God. So Joseph, they go get Joseph and Joseph tells Pharaoh his dream. Now, here we go. Now, Joseph is about to get unprecedented favor. Glory to God. 2024, y'all, we're going to get unprecedented favor. Good God Almighty. See, you, you, you know your favor increasing now if you're about to get favor with the king. Good God Almighty. God going to give unprecedented favor uh, to the believer. You're going to you get favor with the mayor. And the governor, people in high positions, God going to give you favor with them. Somebody say unprecedented favor. And he interprets Pharaoh's dream. And when he, when he inter interprets his dream, amen, Pharaoh promotes him to second in charge of Egypt. Glory to God. He, he promotes him to second in charge to everything in Pharaoh's house, he puts Joseph in charge. The scripture says he took his ring, his insignia, and put it on Joseph's hand. He slid that ring on his, on his hand, put the robe, put, put a, 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 a linen a robe over him. He, he vexed He was clean. Good God Almighty. That boy was clean. He, the, he, the, he coming out of, uh, the, took the prison clothes off. And he's sharp, he's sharp, he's sharp like Pharaoh. There ain't nobody cleaner than Joseph but Pharaoh. Glory to God. And put a chain around his neck. Glory to God. Could you imagine Joseph parading around now? And he said, boys, my brothers can see me now. <laughs> oh, they, they would never have thought that he would be uh, uh, experiencing the things that he's experiencing. Look at here. He's experiencing uncommon favor. He's experiencing unpredictable favor. And now he's experiencing unprecedented favor amen with Pharaoh somebody said glory to God what kind of favor is this and then God is telling me to tell you that he is about to land you with some favor somebody said exponential favor he, and God said I give you what you can see now Jeremiah chapter 1 I want to I just talk about this for a minute and we're going to close we're getting close to closing and I want to share this with you the Lord told me to, to tell you these things because I'm not going to stop until I give you everything God told me to tell you in this message now Jeremiah chapter 1 and verse uh, 11 it says Moreover, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Jeremiah, what seest thou? What you see? And I said, I see a, a rod of an almond tree. Then said the Lord unto me, thou hast well seen, for I will hasten my word to perform it. Now here, the Lord told me to tell you, that he's going to give you what you can see. Ooh. If you can see it, God says, I'm going to give it to you. In 2024, if you can see it, I'm going to give it to you. All you got to do is see it. All, all you got to do is, is see yourself elevated. See yourself in that position. I remember my friend back there play, used to play Amen. She used to play for me. My musician. She was my musician. My uh, minister of music. She used to play for me. And, and she would say, I'm going back to school. I'm going back to school and I'm going to get my degree. And she went back to school. She got her, 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 her bachelor's. She got her master's and got her Ph.D. Glory to God. Doctorate. Amen. Doc, doctor. Uh, amen. Brenda Kennedy. Amen. Doctor. Amen. But, but, but she had to see it. 
in order to achieve it. I remember my wife telling me that she was telling me, I'm going, I'm, I'm going to be an RM, I'm going to be a nurse, I'm going to be a nurse. And, she, and, and people around her, was, was, you know, they were bragging about them, they're going to be a nurse, and, and they taking the test, and they ain't passing the test. But she took that test and passed that test, and she's a nurse. Amen. Not, a, not only a nurse, but get ready to have her own business. Glory to God. Why? Because you got to see it before you can see it. You got to see it. Tell that neighbor, you got to see it. I don't, you, you can't look at the conditions that you're in right now. You can't look at how things are. Joseph only would have saw himself in a pit. He never would have experienced being in Potiphar's house running things. He never would have been in Pharaoh's house running things. Because, but he had to see it. And that's what God, God want to test your vision. That's what he did with Jeremiah. He tested his vision. Y'all remember the first thing Jeremiah told God when he, God called him to be a prophet over the nation. I'm just a child. I don't know nothing. <laughs> Let me tell you something. If God called you to do something, he equipped you to do it. If God called you to do something, he equips you to do it. You, uh, he, he, called, he called a man um, um, that was, um, he called him, he said, he said, uh, who was that? Not Canaan. Who was that? God called him and he, he go, no, not Samuel. Yep, it was, he called, it was in Genesis. He called, I'm going I'm to think of it in a minute. I'm going to think of his name in a minute. Uh, uh, Gillian. He called Gillian and he, he said, oh, mighty man of valor. Oh, mighty man of valor. And he said, who, me? <laughs> he started looking around. You know, and, see, and, and don't let, and don't let, don't, now listen to me now. Don't let people devalue you when God has valued you. Don't, don't let people talk down on you. Don't let people uh, strip you of your dignity. Don't let, don't let nobody call you uh, uh, that and you ain't that. Amen. Don't let people devalue. See, the devil got real slick, y'all, and people don't pay attention. They, they, you know, people let, you know, they, they think it's a, a, a compliment when they call you a bee. There ain't no compliment. There ain't no compliment. Don't you call me that. I'm not that. Amen. I'm not, I'm not nobody's B word. Amen. I'm, no, I'm, not, I'm not nobody trash. Amen. I'm, 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 a, I'm a woman with dignity. I'm a, I'm a woman with pride. Amen, somebody. Amen. I'm a woman of God. And, and God tells us how to posture ourselves when we are his. Glory to God. If you don't know who you are, people could call you anything. And you would accept that. You would walk around with that and let them strip you of your value, strip you of your dignity. Many, many people during the time uh, that crack, when crack was out and people getting caught up on crack, but when they start remembering who they were, Oh, my God, my God. <laughs> they start remembering. They start looking. Hey, wait, wait a minute. My mama didn't raise me like this. Uh-uh. Uh, I'm more than this right here. See, you, see, that's what the prodigal son did. He came to himself. I'm not going to let the devil devalue me. I'm not going to let the devil strip me of my dignity. I'm going back home where I belong. So I just want to just kind of re rehash some of this, and we're gonna and we're gonna go, we're gonna leave in a minute. But but somebody said uh, 2024, the year of exponential favor with God and man, and God is going to give unto the believers in 2024 uncommon favor. Glory to God, uncommon favor, unpredictable favor, unprecedented. Favor and God is going to give us what we can see. Ooh, boy, I almost took off in here. Y'all better get ready to catch me. Oh, He's going to give us what we can see, and and, and God knows I can see some stuff. I'm gonna I'm gonna start going around looking more. <laughs> Somebody said I can see it. I can see it. Glory to God. And listen to me. I'm gonna say this to you, and we and we're gonna go. We're gonna go home. Uh, but but listen to this right here. Pharaoh's name means great house. Pharaoh gave Joseph an Egyptian name. 
His name meant added, but watch this. Joseph's name was changed to an Egyptian name, and it's Zaphnath, Penea, treasury of the glorious rest. <laughs> Ooh, treasury of the glorious rest. So everything belongs to Joseph. Pharaoh gave Joseph everything he had and, and, and changed his name to treasury of the glorious rest. And in Egypt, Pharaoh gave uh, uh, Joseph a wife. He had two sons. I'm going to give you their names because their names mean something to you and me in our favor with God. One of his sons' name was Manasseh. Manasseh, his name means, for God said, he hath made me forget all my toil and all my father's house. See, in 2024, God's going to cause you to forget all you've gone through in 2023. Good God Almighty. All of your trials and all of your tests and all the things that people took you through in 2024. God says, I'm going to cause you to forget it all. I'm going to forget. I'm going to cause you to forget all about the family members who was dividing themselves against you, who, who was Tearing your name down and talking down to you. God said, I'm going to cause you in 2024 to forget all about all of that. And then he had another son, Ephraim. God has caused me to be fruitful in the land of my affliction. Hallelujah. 2024. In this same land, Jacksonville ain't changed. And when, when, when the clock uh, strikes 12, Jacksonville still going to look the same. But God is going to cause us to be fruitful in our afflictions and all that we have gone through. Amen. God bless you. Amen. Amen. It's 1159. Praise God. I want you to just go into your, your prayer position, whatever that is. Amen. Whatever you want to sit down and pray, you can sit down and pray. You want to kneel and pray. You can kneel and pray. I'm a, I'm a walker myself. Amen. But I want my wife to, amen, to come and, and, and bring us into, amen, the year, amen, in prayer. Have her to come and pray. Praise God. Amen. And, and we'll just get in positions that we want to be in. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, God, thank you, Father. Hallelujah, hallelujah. How many know God is good? Thank you, Father. Sound kind of cliche, is, but, but it's true. God is good all the time, and all the time, God is good. Hallelujah. We thank you, Master. Glory to your name, Father. We bless you. Hallelujah, Jesus. Glory to God. Lord, we thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you because you have been good to us. You've been good to us in 2023. And Father, we claim right now in Jesus' name and we expect the unexpected in 2024 you are a good God you're a great God and you're greatly to be praised hallelujah 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 bless the name of the Lord in this place in the name of Jesus we thank you father you are the creator you are the maker and the creator of both heaven and earth and we give you glory father we lift you up high we thank you father because you said if you be lifted up You'll draw all men unto you. And we say, thank you, Lord. We lift you up high where you belong. We thank you, Father, that as these years change, as the days change, as the hours change, as the months change, as seasons change, we thank you that one thing is consistent, and that is you, Father. We thank you, Lord, because you are the same today, yesterday, and forever. Hallelujah. We bless your name, Jesus. We thank you, Father, from the rising of the sun 
And to the going down of the same, we thank you that the name of the Lord is worthy to be praised. And God, we pray right now in Jesus' name that you would forgive us of all our sins. You said that all have sinned and come short of your glory. And if we say that we have not sinned, then we are lie and the truth is not in us. So we pray, Lord God, that you would forgive us for sins of omission, sins of commission. Father, in the name of Jesus, forgive us for our iniquities, Ill, those hidden sins that only you know about. We pray that you forgive us, Father, in the name of Jesus. And like David, we say, create within us, O God, a clean heart and then renew the right spirit within us in the name of Jesus we lift up your name father and we tell you thank you Lord thank you because you are the creator you are the alpha you are the omega you are the first father you are the last you are the beginning and the end. You are the way, the truth, and the life. And we say thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Lord, that because it's, it's because of you that we live. And in you we move. And in you, God, we have our very being. And we tell you thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Lord, because it is you who have fearfully and wonderfully made us in your own image. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. And we bow down before you, oh God. And we say thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We say thank you, Father, for you so loved this world that you gave your only begotten Son. You said whosoever should believe in him shall be saved. In Jesus' name, Lord, we say we believe, oh God. We believe, Father, in the name of Jesus. We believe, God, but help thou our unbelief, Father. In the name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord, because you are the true vine. And we are yet the branches. And we thank you, Jesus. You are the way. You are the truth. And you are the life, Father. Help us, oh God, that we will be sober, Father. That we will be vigilant in 2024. Knowing that we have an adversary, oh God, who walketh about seeking whom he may devour. But in the name of Jesus Christ, we look to you, Father. Hallelujah. We look to the hill from which cometh our help, knowing that our help come from our Redeemer. And we say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory, hallelujah. Glory, hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. Hallelujah. Bless your name, Master. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you for the favor, oh God. In the name of Jesus, thank you for the favor that we shall receive in 2024. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Glory to your name. Glory to your name, Jesus. Glory. Hallelujah. No other name given. Among men whereby we shall be saved, Father, except by the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord, that your name is a strong tower. And the righteous, we run into you and we find safety in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Come on, let's praise the Lord. Let's give him the praise. Let's give him some praise. Let's praise our way out. Amen. Let's praise him. Give God the glory. Let's give him the glory. Amen. Let's give him the glory. Let's give him the praise. Give him all the glory. Give him all the praise. Hallelujah. Glory to God. The fireworks are going off inside of me. Hallelujah. I feel an ignite, an igniting us, an explosion of praise down on the inside of me. Hallelujah. 
I got to praise, I got to praise, and I got to get it out. I got to praise. Anybody got to praise? I got to praise, I got to praise, and I got to get it out. I got to praise. Hallelujah. Glory. I got to praise, I got to praise, and I got to get it out. I got to praise, hallelujah, thank you, Lord, thank you, thank you, thank you for 2024, thank you for 2024, happy new years, everybody, happy new years, amen, happy new years, everybody, go hug somebody and tell them happy new year, wish them a happy new year, say hello, favor, glory, hello, favor, Hello, favor. 